Let's talk about learning and let's precisely define what learning means so you can become a better FE exam learner. Learning is a two-step process. The first step, this is the input process. This is when you're reading through a textbook. This is when you're reading through conceptual notes for each FE exam topic. And this is when you're looking at solutions. Yes, look at solutions in this process. You're gonna look at these expert work solutions that guide you through each step, give you each step, show you the unit conversions, and you wanna be asking simple questions. The simpler, the better. So you're gonna ask questions about the solution, you're gonna see where they got the formulas in the handbook, and all of that. And this is when you're watching videos you're gonna be under the guidance of an expert, of a teacher, of an instructor, and you're gonna to submit to this higher authority, which is your instructor, to give you the big picture idea. This is what we call the input process, and it's relatively easy to approach, as long as we're not getting distracted, we're there for a purpose, we're there for a reason, and we're there to learn. This is the input process, but there's a more important process, which is gonna be the second step. This second step is the output process where you're expressing the material yourself. And this is a lot harder to do than that simple input process in the first step, because now you're putting in additional effort and you're gonna test whether you really know what you're doing. For example, for the FE exam, classic ways is doing quizzes, doing full length practice exams, or just flat out doing problems. But you're gonna do problems in a particular way. You're gonna engage yourself, you're gonna struggle, and that's the whole point. Don't look at the solution too fast. Don't just go there and go through that input process, which is a common thing students do, you're only doing that input process. You need to engage with the material. So try each problem, struggle through it, See if you get stuck, see if you answer it, see if you made a mistake. In this second step, this is when your gaps of knowledge become apparent. And I'm gonna absolutely guarantee they're gonna be in your face. Be aware of them and note them down. This is the crucial second step. And another way we can use this is through videos. So rather than just passively watching a video, pause the video, attempt each problem, See if you can solve it, if you do, great. But then you still wanna check the solution. Maybe you made a mistake, maybe you got stuck. Use the video to guide you, to get feedback, to see where you messed up, to learn the basic concept. You're going through this two-way process. You're doing the output process by engaging, by struggling, and at the same time, you're going through the input process by looking at the expert work solution. It goes both ways and it doesn't have to be in order. As long as both are there, you're gonna be learning. But the most important one is the second step. As you continue with your FE exam prep, make sure you're using effective study techniques that strongly rely on that second step. The first step will come naturally for the most part, but that second step is in your control. You have to take action. And at times, it's going to feel uncomfortable, unproductive, and discouraging. Just know you're beginning your path towards that deeper and more durable understanding. And this understanding will, without a doubt, get you that FE exam passing score.